two years, Donald Trump Jr. has lived at the very heart of the Russia story, which we now know was a conspiracy theory, for attending a meeting with a Russian lawyer nobody's ever heard of. He has been accused of betraying his country. Many suggested he would die in prison. We now know that none of that was real. They were lying or they were being hysterical. Either way, it was not true. It looks like he's not going to prison. Donald Trump Jr. instead joins us tonight. Um, Don Trump, thanks very much for coming on. So I can't recall the number of times I heard people predict that you would be indicted. You have not been indicted. You're not going to be indicted. Um, I have not, but it's thousands, if not much more than that, Tucker. So what's the experience like? What's it like to be you right now? Listen, it feels great. I mean, because... I was a big part of all of this going on. I'm the one that took the daily incoming, the nonsense. Now, at the same time, I'm also the person that was actually there, that was actually in the room. So I understand everything that went into it. I realized we didn't do anything wrong. Certainly, uh, when you look at what the other side was doing, you realize that it was them, in fact, colluding, not us. We were doing a campaign. We were functioning like any campaign would, and that's what we did. So it was difficult to watch. It was difficult to watch what they're trying to and have been trying to do to my father for two years. And it's really the Democrats with their media lackeys uh, creating a narrative that they want to be true because they couldn't explain the outcome of the last election. My father won. He was able to speak to the American people. He's been able to move the needle for them in a way that Barack Obama couldn't come close to doing. But by the way, it's not just a partisan issue. Bush couldn't have done it either. My father's done incredible things. He's done things for working class Americans. You have all time low African American unemployment, all time low Hispanic unemployment, all time low female unemployment. And he's doing that with this bubble around him for two years. So, Think of what he could do without that noise. So I, what I never understood is why not, if you don't agree with the policies of the administration or the campaign before it on trade or immigration, pick a topic. Why not debate them? The Russia story seemed to subsume all of that. No one was talking about the details of any policy. Some policies weren't even being affected as a result of it, weren't getting done. Why not have like a conventional political debate? Because the Democrats can't win with their ideas. With the issues and the things that they want to push, they don't work. We, they tried that under Obama. They're trying that with the Green New Deal. The only problem is we don't exactly have $93 trillion to spend to say you're going to take a bus to Hawaii. That doesn't work. Their ideas do not work, and they recognize that. So the way to try to combat that is to demonize a guy who's getting it done with ideas that they can't stand. And that's what my father's been doing, Tucker. He's but, been but doing this it day wasn't, in but and day out. The Russia story wasn't simply about your father. It was about the people around him, very much including you. I mean, you were a, 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 a major figure in this narrative, as they say. Yeah, because I was the needle in the haystack, Tucker. We handed over our emails. I did 27-something hours of testimony in front of congressional committees. And you know what happens? You go in the meeting at the end of seven hour testimony. Guys, do you have any more questions? Ask them. Go look at the records. Do you have any more questions? No, we have none. Guys like Danang Dick Blumenthal go outside on the steps of Congress 30 seconds later, hold a press conference saying, There are many questions that were not answered. It's nonsense, Tucker. It's all a game. And you got the leader of the tinfoil hat brigade, Adam Schiff, out there every day talking about the evidence of collusion that he's seen. He's flagrantly lying to the American people. He's doing it every day on national television. He's gotten more airtime, amazingly enough, than Michael Avenatti, but they're about of the same level of credibility. And there's no accountability for that, Tucker, because when you're on that side and you have the media carrying your water for you, you can say whatever you want. When you're on our side, even when you're right, even when you're proven so, there's a level of culpability. There are repercussions for being a conservative that you don't face if you're on the other side. So, so what have those repercussions been like for you? I mean, how is that since there are millions of people who believe that you are a Russian agent or abetting yes. other Russian agents, the most serious charge you could level against anybody betraying well, your country, what, how has that affected? I mean, what's it like when you go to, to the grocery store? Well, listen, in New York City, it's a little bit different than the rest of the country, obviously. Uh, you know, the reality is this. I'm a patriot true and true. Uh, I, I love this country. I love everything that it stands for. And the difference between me, amazingly enough, as the son of a billionaire from New York City, 
is that unlike the Democrats, I actually spend a lot of time in middle America, whether it be my hobbies in the outdoors or shooting and fishing. I know those people. Guess how many of them have even asked about Russia? Zero, because they know that it's nonsense. And this is the media's classic move. They take the narrative that they understand in their little New York and D.C. bubbles, and they try to sell that to the rest of the country. But the rest of the country gets it. You know what they see? They see manufacturing jobs coming back to this country. They see their wages rising for the first time in decades. They see the stock market and their 401ks at all-time highs. They see all-time low unemployment. What is the Democrat platform is do the opposite of anything that Donald Trump has done. If Donald Trump came out today in favor of oxygen, the left would be against it. Are, do they really want to reverse the successes that we have seen? Do they really want to reverse all-time low unemployment numbers for all the minorities listed? Well, so, so can that conversation, I mean, can we begin the conversation about policy now? And what happens since, I mean, presumably at some point they're going to acknowledge reality, which is Mueller cleared the administration of collusion charges. Yeah. So well, I, I what happens now? That. I doubt they ever do that because it's not their style. And again, there's no accountability on their side. That said, no, there's two things true. that have to happen. I think we have to look into how this all started. Okay, this didn't start with some FBI agent, a door kicker. This started with the lawyer bureaucrats at the top of the FBI working with Hillary Clinton, Fusion GPS, Christopher Steele, Peter Strzok. Those people need to be looked into. This was the greatest farce ever perpetrated on our democracy. It's a disgrace and it's a stain on our Constitution. We have to fix that. Then, what I'd like, I'd like us all to get together. Let's start working. How about we pass some bills for infrastructure? Why don't the Democrats get together with the Republicans and my father and actually start doing and continuing the amazing things that my father has been doing for the American people? That's what I'd like to see. Yeah. I'd like to see that kind of unity. I'd like to see the Democrats focusing on what's good for the American people, right. not just screaming on TV, trying to perpetuate a hoax and a myth that they themselves have created. Because the media and the Democrats have no credibility right now. The Adam Schiff's of the world have no credibility right now. And it's going to take years for them to gain that back if they don't try to actually do something to effectuate change and to get things moving for the American people. Again, right. my father did amazing things with all right. of this stuff going on, with this cloud over his head. Imagine what he could do if you let him do his thing. They may want to sit this one out. Maybe we'll you know, jump on the Trump train. Let's get this thing going <laughs> and let's keep the winning because we can we'll do it. Look at what's going on. Maybe we they'll wake up it. and realize it. We'll see. Don Trump Jr., thanks very much for that. Thank you, Tucker.